One of the most important things in starting an e-commerce or dropshipping store is SEO. Because with SEO, you can literally attract visitors to your website without paying any euro for ads. So I always motivate people to optimize their store for SEO purposes so they have a nice position in Google, an organic and a free position. But which platform is the best? WooCommerce or Shopify? I will dive into it right now with you in this video. And in this video, you are going to learn the basics of SEO and which platform is better to optimize. We will walk through the basic steps of SEO for dropshipping, Shopify SEO, WooCommerce SEO. We will break down the comparison and we will have a final conclusion. So again, let's not waste any more time and let's jump into this video. First of all, the basics for SEO are very simple. You need a primary keyword. For example, if you sell furniture and you're selling a dining table, then the keyword might be dining table. You want to optimize that particular product page for the dining table keyword. It should be visible in the title. It should be visible in the description, but there's also a lot more to take into account. And some SEO tools will show you what to take into account and some don't. And that's where it's a big difference between Shopify and WooCommerce. So let's jump into it and let's start with Shopify. We have a backend over here and let's check first the products we have over here. Now, when we scroll down to the product section in Shopify, we can edit the search engine listing over here. And what we can do there is we can change the page title, change the meta description, and change the URL handle. Um, and in this case, if we have, for example, uh, the keyword dining table, then it's advisable to start with that keyword dining table, add, of course, additional data to it, but also in the meta description, add with dining table. And you see below here what the maximum characters advisable is, and also the same for the description. So keep that in mind, go not above this maximum amount of characters. Now, what you also see happening is that this will be the listing in Google. So this is how people will see your site appearing in Google when this is optimized. But that's basically it. So this is the only thing you can change from product perspective in Shopify. Another awesome tool to increase your position in Google organically is to publish blog posts. And luckily, both WooCommerce and Shopify have the option to add blog posts and also to optimize a bit the SEO. So let me show you at first the blog post in Shopify. Now let's go to online store blog post and there we can create a blog post. And over here you can say like dining table perfect for the fam. Over here, you will paste your content, which is of course the content of the blog post. And then the most important part again here, they have the same option like with a product to add a page title, add a description and add a URL handle. Now, this is the only thing you can basically change from within Shopify to um, optimize your SEO pages. However, this doesn't really help you, right? Because you don't really know if you're doing a great job here. So that sucks. So because of that, I have checked uh, a couple of apps. So if we go take a look at the app store in Shopify and we search for SEO tools, then the first thing I notice is that a lot of SEO tools are mainly focused on image optimizing and speed optimizing. Well, that's not really what I'm looking for. Um, so I tried Avada SEO speed image optimize, doesn't really do what I want. I tried Yoast SEO, which is also used in WooCommerce. Uh, not sure if it does what I want. We can check in the screenshots, but there's one thing that bugs me the most. I think it does because here we can add it, a key phrase, but there's one thing that bugs me the most with these apps on Shopify. And that's basically, let me save this one. That's basically that they're all paid. So if I want to make use of Yoast SEO, I need to purchase a subscription, which is, if I pay monthly, $19 a month on top of my Shopify subscription. And that's what really bugs me here um, in Shopify is 
to me, it seems very expensive. And also when I take a look at Avada SEO suite, I now have a free plan and there I can see my SEO score, which is weird that it's excellent because I have none of my products are basically optimized. My speed score is nice, which is awesome, of course, but there's nothing I can do where I can add a keyword or yeah, I can change the, the view, but I can't optimize a certain keyword for a certain page. And that's what really bugs me because that's the most important part of SEO. So my conclusion with regards to Shopify, it has options to op optimize the view in Google, but it doesn't really have options to help you optimize your SEO and to increase your organic position and to make sure that you really optimize that page and Google will find it very important to show on a higher position in the search results. So it's a bit fake still. Now, on the other hand, when we go to take a look at WooCommerce, there we have various options. But first, I will add nothing to the shop and I will show you what it has in basis. Um, let me go to settings here. There's nothing of SEO. Also, when we go to products, for example, and let's open a product. There is literally nothing here for SEO. So WooCommerce doesn't have default optimization options for SEO. You must use an SEO plugin for it. And here it becomes interesting, but because for me, there are three really good SEO plugins and there's one I really prefer, but I will jump into it right now. Let's start with the one that was also available on Shopify. Let's go back to that one. It's Yoast SEO um, because Yoast SEO started with WooCommerce. Yoast SEO is basically founded on WooCommerce and apparently they decided to also add their app to Shopify and make it a paid version. But if you are on WooCommerce, Yoast SEO can be used for free. It's of course a limited version, but that version will do the trick. We, we can have everything we want in that limited version. So let me show you if you go back to WooCommerce and we go to add plugins and then say Yoast, then install now. You, you can al already see it has 10 million active installation. I think WordPress doesn't even count above 10 million because it says 10 million plus. What, that, what does that mean? Is it 12, is it 15, maybe 20? I'm not sure, but it's a lot. They have five stars also, and let's activate the plugin. And there, of course, we can start in this case, our first time configuration. They will ask you some questions. Let's not do that right now um, because I just want to show you the products and the blog post. So if we go to products and remember when I just showed you the product, there was nothing with, uh, with yo with SEO, something doing with SEO. So now what we see immediately when we go to a product that this blog is added, you can see it's Joe's SEO. You can see we can add a focus key phrase and we can also change the SEO title, change the URL slash slug, and we can change the meta description. And what we can see over here that the readability of this text is green, but the SEO uh, rating is red. And this is what we need to make green also. So for that, we need to optimize this particular page. I'm sorry, it's a bit stupid that this is in Dutch, but this is a, a washing mand, washing mand, washing, not sure what it is, to put your clothes in when they are dirty. Um, you can see if I already fill in a key phrase, it already turns to orange because the key phrase is in the, the, it's the first word in the title, it's the first word in the URL, and it's also the second word in the first uh, paragraph of the product description. So it immediately turns orange. Now, when we add um, a SEO description is very useful for dirty clothing before going into the washing machine and making them shiny and clean. Yeehaw. Uh, what I'm just trying to do, it's of course not a very optimized description, but you can see this, this green progress bar becoming 
orange and then becoming green, it must be green because that's the perfect uh, length for Google. And the same goes for the SEO title. So therefore I said like, well, let's add Jiha. Don't do that, of course, don't. Um, but you can now see that it's that it's a bit more optimized and basically we cannot do anything more from this point of view but if you have premium and premium is not note here people premium is not $19 a month no it's $99 a year so to break it down for you you will have the option to add a keyword you will have the option to change your SEO title, meta description, and you can also see if your SEO rating is green or orange. If you want to unlock Yoast Premium, you can also see what you need to change to make it green. Um, and it's cheaper compared to the Shopify option. So you can use it for free or you can pay a bit more to optimize a bit more and then it's still cheaper. No brainer, right? This is Yoast SEO. So only thing i can show you here here you can also see seo is okay readability is good and if we go back to the product overview you will also see some sort of traffic light um where you can see orange green it's the same okay let's move forward because we have more plugins to show you deactivate and let's go to another plugin add new and let's search for rank math and i must say this is my personal favorite i used Yoast SEO for quite some time, but recently I moved to Rank Math SEO and I really like it. It also has a lot of activations, 2 million, and um, also a very good rating. So let's install it right away and activate. And let's skip this one, but again, you can see uh, return to the dashboard. You can see there's a wizard where you can walk through to set up everything, default settings for SEO for your site. And here you can also see what you can enable. At this moment, I will not walk through any advanced settings. I will create another video later on where I go more in depth into this particular plugins. But for now, I just want to show you the difference between Shopify and WooCommerce. So again, this plugin is freely installed. I haven't paid anything so far. Now let's go to the product again. And let's go to the exact same product we optimized just now. And we click on the exact same product. There we of course see the same title, same description, but instead of Yoast SEO being here, now Rank Math SEO is here. And we can do the exact same thing. However, we will have additional um, analytics uh, with the free account. So this part we didn't have in Yoast SEO because we needed to pay $99 for it. But in Rank Math, it's added to the free version of the plugin. So if we do the same thing, let's say uh, the washing basket and we click here to edit the snippet. There we can also say um, last month for dirty clothing. Should have copied this. Um, before it will go into your washing machine. Um, keep your clothes, clothes clean and shiny. Oh, shiny, shiny. Ah, ah. Yeeha. Okay, and you see the exact same thing, right? Here you see if it's in green, so it's in the, the last dash basically. Um, and you see also the amount of characters. So it's a bit more, uh, you have a better overview of it. And over here, we can also see that the permalink is too long. So we can say like, okay, let's make it like this. Um, and then it's perfect again. So then we can go back and then we see that it's currently, it has a 68 out of 100. What can we improve here to make it a hundred? And there you see it. Your content is 252 words long, long. Consider using at least 600 words. And then it's referring to this content, of course. Um, well, it will be hard to now increase it to 600, but it will increase your rating enormously if you, if you fix this. And also you have additional orders here, additional 
errors here below, which you can fix so that again, the rating will increase. And most of them are really easy to accomplish. For example, the, co the focus keyword was not found in subheadings. Well, let's add that one. Uh, was month features, and then we make it an H2 and then scroll back down and then the error is gone and somehow it became lower so that's weird but let's continue a bit with optimizing and then it will become higher of course so not sure what happened here maybe i should do just this and um, nope it will stay 65 okay perfect but the idea is that you can see way more analytics um, and therefore you can way better optimize in the free version of Rank Math SEO. Now you might have already noticed before, before I went to the product overview, but there's also the same um, sort of traffic light system on the product overview of Rank Math SEO. So that works basically the same as for Yoast SEO. Last but not least, there are various options in Rank Math. You just saw them beforehand, but let's walk through them a bit. Uh, they have a content AI, they have a 404 monitor if you have broken links. Um, they have instant indexing so that Google will pick up your content right away instead of in a couple of weeks. They support sitemap, they support WooCommerce. Uh, they also have a product page schema, uh, which is very helpful for, for Google to recognize that it's a product page. Um, you can redirect certain links if you want to move a page to another URL. Well, etc. etc. So there are a lot of options, and this plugin is my favorite because it has a lot of options in the free version also. Now there's only one plugin left which I have uh, never used, but some people think it's an interesting plugin, and that's the all-in-one SEO, powerful SEO plugin. It has 3 million active installations, it has less stars. For me, it doesn't really matter what you choose. However, I prefer Rank Math and SEO, Yoast SEO, but I really prefer Rank Math. But I, was, I think I was clear with that. So, if I need to make a conclusion, and if I need to choose, my choice will be, of course, WooCommerce SEO in combination with the Rank Math SEO plugin. And that's because it's a free plugin with a lot of functionalities. If you want to upgrade, you will have, of course, more functionalities such as AI options and, and stuff, which is awesome. But I think you can become a very long way um, with the free version. So that and also because I just really like WooCommerce and the base of WooCommerce is of course WordPress. WooCommerce is built on top of WordPress. Uh, WordPress is created for blog influencers to create blog articles and a blog website. So WordPress is from the basic, from code perspective, already very optimized for SEO and Google really likes WordPress as a website as his, as his whole. So for me, it's an easy choice. Go with WooCommerce, go with Rank Math SEO, Give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.